Okay, hello everybody. Paul Richards here, Chief Streaming Officer at PTZ Optics. Hi guys, I'm Andy Chadfield, Head of Tech Support. And you're probably wondering uh, why we are in this black and white style um, show. That's because this Friday we're doing the history of live streaming completely in black and white. So we decided to maybe do a little, little fun vlog, but Andy wants to do everything in color because this is Tech Support Tuesday and we want to keep everything um, you know, in line, so we will do that. But um, today we're going to be talking about setting up a camera on the IP network. That is the plan. Um, I just want to go over using the IP address setting tool. Once you first power on your camera, you plug it into your network, you download this tool, and that's what you're going to use to find the cameras on your network, give them unique IP addresses, things like that. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is a video Paul did real quick of just downloading the IP address setting tool from ptzoptics.com and um, searching and finding cameras on your network with it, basically. Yep, so as you can see here, we went to the downloads page. Uh, we downloaded the IP settings tool. This is an unzipped file. Uh, it comes with a PDF kind of explaining it. Um, so that's the PDF there. Yep. And uh, really quickly, I think we just search the network and find like three cameras. Yes. So you can see the camera comes up with the IP addresses, the subnet mask, the gateway, as well as the MAC address, which is actually how this um, piece of software goes out and finds your PTZ Optics cameras, which is with the first six digits of the MAC address. But once, you're, once you do that, you can then pull up the, you, you can use the IP address setting tool to then change the IP address of your cameras. Mm -hmm. Every PTZ Optics camera should come with a default IP address of 192.168.100.88. Yes. So you would have to find your camera on your network and then change the IP address to be something in your range. Now, did you want to do, uh, to show them how, now, the, what Andy has here is a desktop capture showing uh, if you somehow cannot find the camera on your network. Right. You can connect directly to the camera. Uh, in fact, let's just show that, Andy, really quickly. So Andy's got a camera connected directly. Yeah, I'm directly into the back of, into the back uh, of this PC Of here. the network jack and Paul's computer here. So... Um, if, if, if you ever run into the situation where you cannot find, you've downloaded the IP address setting tool, it cannot find your camera. But you need to give that camera a unique IP address before you can even use it. You connect it directly to your computer, and then you can go, um, you would basically go, and I'm just going to get you back to this, uh, this page here. Which page? So if you go in the bottom where your networks are, you should be able to right click an open network and sharing center. I don't think you can actually see that on the screen share here, but once you get into the network and, sh and sharing center, you are then going to change adapter settings on the left here. And that will get you to this page that Paul has open. This gives me my Bluetooth, my wired connection, and then my wireless Wi-Fi connection. You want to use your wired one that I have connected to the camera. Go to properties. You want to do the Internet Protocol version 4 is the, is the commonly used one. So we're going to do that. Go to Properties. As of right now, we are dynamically finding an IP address. Every time you power on your computer, it's just going to find an IP address that's in your network's range and use it. Um, what we want to do is we want to give it a specific IP address to use that's going to be within the range of the IP address that the camera comes defaulted to. So 192.168. Dot 100, dot 88 is the camera, so I'm just going to make the computer 89. My subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0. And then my default gateway is just going to be the same as the IP address, but instead of giving it a unique identifier of 89, I'm just going to keep it 1. So 192.168.100.1. And then I should be good to go. So you actually changed the IP address of the computer. The computer to match the camera. Got it. So now you, you have to exit out of here. It will not take effect. So once I've done that, I should now be able to access that camera by typing its IP address into Firefox. 192.168.100.1. That is not working. Is that what we set it to? That is what I set the computer to, yes.
Huh. Hang on a sec. 8.100.89. You want to try, was it 88? Uh, and 89 is what I set the computer to. You're absolutely right. So 88 would be 88 the is the camera. And I, yep, there we go. Yep, and you type in admin. Admin is the um, username and username password. And password. Remember, activate VLC if you want to see a live preview. Allow and remember. And, and there's there the is. camera sitting on the table. I'm just going to pan it down a little bit. So that's basically how you would access it. And then what you want to do is go to network. And I can give it an IP address right here. And that's where if, if your IP address tool is not working, you cannot find the camera, you can access it directly. Give it an IP address that's on your network. Hit apply. And then plug it back onto your network. Do exactly like what we did. Take the IP address you just gave it, type it into a browser, and you should be good to go. The last thing I want to remember to mention is that we are still set to a static IP address on this computer. Paul. Let me fade that back to, so they can see what we're doing. Okay. So um, what I want to do is just go back. It's, it's the exact same process we did before. If you go back down to where your networks are. Where's my mouse? Right click, open network and sharing center, change adapter settings, and then whatever one we, uh, we used, which is the Ethernet. Do you want to right click that? Or? I don't know why that mouse is not working very well. You want to right click it and go to properties. And remember, we do the Internet Protocol version 4. Go to properties again. And now I just want to obtain an IP address automatically again. I want to take out what I had set it to. Bam. And I should be good to access the internet and everything again now. So that is how you would, um, you would access your cameras directly if the IP address setting tool is not working for you. I get this call very frequently. I think there are a lot of policies and corporate networks that can prevent multicast um, devices from reaching out, which is basically what the IP address setting tool does. So if the IP address setting tool is not working for you, just connect directly using, the, uh, using any kind of uh, CAT cable. I think it can be crossover or regular, and you should be able to gain access to the camera that way and set its IP address that way. All right, I guess that's it. I think that's it. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you next Tuesday. See you next Tuesday.